Hey y'all, this is Jeff with Atlantic Arcade Sales and Service Repair and I'm here in Carolina Beach with Dan and his wonderful family. I'm going to make a quick walkthrough instructional video to show them how to play their game. So basically, you know, what we're going to start off with, we're, we're in a menu and that's how you have to tra travel this whole entire system is through the menu. See if I can get Mr. Phone to focus back in. There we go. So we're in a menu. We can now just take our joystick, scroll through menus, but I'm gonna walk you through in and out of these menus, how to get back to them and everything. So we'll start first with the all game menu, which is gonna have all your games to enter any of these menus. We're gonna hit player one and it just enters you straight in. You now can take your joystick and by simply going up and down, you can go game by game. You can also uh, touch it left to right, just pop it left to right. It'll go page to page, forward or backwards. Uh, you can also hold it left to right and it'll traverse through the menu alphabetically, reverse and forwards very fast. Um, anything you see that you may want to play, this is a very unique thing here, is that if you look up here, this will tell you what system it is. Once again, we're in the overall menu, so all the games are in this menu. They're not separated in this one. So if you have a hard to find game you're looking for, this is going to be where they find it. As you're scrolling through, it will tell you what system. So that's a Nintendo Entertainment System. If you see this, like this is the actual header, that's an actual arcade game. So if you want to enter any of these games on here, once again, you'll just hit player one and it'll load just like if you turn the game on. The difference between the main difference between arcade games and the console games is going to be you have to credit the arcade games. Now, we're not going to have to put money in the slots, but we will push this button right here to credit our arcade game. So we just we just hit that. You know, we hit hit player one or player two and away we go playing football. So oh, there we go. So anyway, when you're playing a game or you're done playing a game or whatever the situation may be or you're ready to look for another game, we're going to hold down player one. You'll do it till you, you'll see the screen stop. You'll hear the sound stop. And you let up. It's, it's basically two seconds. Now, once again, we're going to travel through the menus. We're in the all game menu. We want to get back to the system selection menu. So we're going to hit the top yellow button. And this is now going to take us back to the overall system selection menu. We're going to scroll down to arcade games. We're going to hit player one. And now here's all your arcade games. And once again, you're going to move through the same way with your joystick, whatever it is you find you want to play. You'll now hit player one. And it will load the game in. And once again, you got to remember with arcade games, we have to credit them. But it's the same process when you're ready to play another game, get out of the system. We're going to hold down player one to see the screen stop. Now let's say we want to play some console games. Somebody wants to play some Nintendo. We're in arcade classics. We want to get, to, we're in a menu, so now we can travel. So we're going to hit our top yellow button. And now we can just scroll down. You have Atari 2600, 7800, ColecoVision, Sega. And you can just scroll down to uh, Super Nintendo. Hit player one. And you almost have the entire catalog of Nintendo games. Uh, the cool thing with these, you don't have to credit those, but you do have to get a path to your game. Uh, typically with Nintendo, you're just going to continue to hit player one. Some of the other ones are just a little bit different, like with PlayStation. But you do have to wait. Some of the games you have to wait for the intro, find a path. And uh, so with some of the, the console games, just like when you played as a kid, it's got an intro that has to take place. So just like with uh, the, that, this one's pretty much done with the intro. And then you just start playing war. With Nintendo, it's a lot of player one to get things going. That's gonna be your start button. Some of the other ones will be a combination of those and some of these buttons here. What you have here is you have two, you have a player one eight way and a player two eight way. That's so you can play your fighting games, your console games, and you have all these buttons, especially for Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. You have to have all those to play and that's, where the, that's the way it's set up. Uh, for your Pac-Mans, Miss Pac-Mans, Donkey Kongs, this is your four-way joystick. And that's going to help you navigate those games, the old school games. And you also have trackball to play games like Centipede and Millipede and Missile Command and so many trackball games like that. Once again, anytime you want to get out, we're just going to hold down player one until it stops. We're back in a menu. So now we're in a menu. We can just hit that top yellow button. And now we can start scrolling back to find anything we want to play. We can take off. Right inside this door, you have... A 90 watt power lamp pushing two uh, six by nines up top. Um, the top 
a circle on our knob is for your volume. Then the next one down is your treble and your bass, all adjustable. This is also Bluetooth. We were actually playing songs through a phone just a little bit while ago. So it's now able to uh, do Bluetooth as well. And right here you have your dual port charger where you can charge any device to keep yourself plugged and played. But I also wanted to take a second to show you guys the incredible graphics that uh, Dan come up with himself uh, from the Carolina Beach area. A lot of these things are photos that he took and we got with the uh, graphic designer and really worked out an incredible graphic package. It turned out really cool. And of course, I've got these lit up down here with the extra large, super bright LEDs. And as always, you got a 200 watt power supply, dual six by nines, LED ballast, steel uh, under Lexan. Um, this is actually called a blank coin door. Save a little bit of money that way. And, um, but you can also get full coin door. You can get just a door, but it just looks better. It, it cosmetically just looks a lot better that way. Like the way he's got it right here. It looks great. But y'all to get your game on, give me a call. 843-450-0171 to get your game on today.